Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, people of God. People of God, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming on uh, and listening to this video. And also, I just want to say thank you all for uh, your prayers. Thank you all for your gifts and things that you've doing, that you've been doing to help me and my family in the times that we're living in uh, and what we're facing. Today, what I want to talk to you briefly from, if I can, five minutes or so, we don't have much time, but I will come back later uh, if the Lord's will. But what I want to talk to you today about um, character is being revealed. Your pressure is revealing or maturing or developing your character. Let's talk about character. Your pressure that you're under, things that you're facing, what it's doing, it's challenging, it's testing, but what it's doing, it's developing that in you, that destiny in you, that voice in you, that faith in you. It's cultivating it. And how is it being cultivated? It's being cultivated through time, through pressure. Through pressure, through time, it's being cultivated. Listen to this. My son always jokes with me. Daniel, he always jokes with me about me not having no hair no more. And I told him, son, be careful. Be careful. You're joking and you're messing with me. See, but the thing about it, you're my seed. And the thing about seed and fruit, the more that seed grows, it becomes just like the fruit. So I said, son, I hope not. Maybe it's a recessive one, recessive gene, but I hope not. But son, don't laugh because you could, you could have a ball here too. So, and what I was talking about was DNA. I was talking about DNA and character. He's my seed. And one of the things for, for uh, a, a seed to become fruit, the thing that it first must do is first must bide alone. It must first bide alone in the earth and die. Many of you, you are alone. You are abiding alone. And many of you, you feel like you're going through a slow death. And that's a process and development that's taking place because there are certain steps there are certain stages, there are certain things that must take place before you become developed. The Bible tells you, after you suffer a while, then he'll make you perfect. The word perfect means to develop, to mature. To mature means to get a little older, become a little wiser. You know, you're doing something. The thing about repetition, the more you do something, the more you do the same thing over and over, the better you get at it. Just like singing. The more you sing, the more you practice, the more you get at it, the more you write. The more you do anything, the more you practice, the more you do it, the more you become familiar with it. And then eventually there will become a there will come a transition. There will come the manifestation of what you practice. The same thing is with God in this sense is that there's a seed in us. That seed is faith. And through time, through pain, uh, the Bible says glory and tribulation for tribulation, work of patience, experience and hope. Uh, there's a process and that process. It comes through time. And in that time that we face or in that time that we live in, it prepares us and gets us to our purpose, but also gets us to know God. That's why David says, my time, O Lord, is in thine hand. Uh, David knew that God hold his time and he knew that at the end of his time that he would make his maker, that he will get to a certain place where there's a certain place where God will at the end of his life, at the end of his journey, God will. Uh, he will be tested or he will be tried or uh, there's judgment that comes with works. There's judgment that, that comes with the things that he do in his life, which means that with us, there are certain things that we must do. That's why God said the, the Bible says that the guys with the talent, the man that went away for a far country. But before he went for a far country, he left these three servants talents. One, he gave five, one, he gave two and one, he gave one talents is money. And basically what he told them to do is to occupy. In other words, to earn more, to work. And that's the requirement to, to grow, to develop, to expand. What we have is to work. Work also means to serve. Work also means to be patient. Work also means uh, to trust God, to work, to work. The Bible says faith without works is dead. What is faith without works? Faith is applying the very thing that you believe in, applying it. A planet, and in you in a planet, there's going to be a tax. The thing about that you need to understand about faith, faith doesn't feel good. Blessings in its beginning stages doesn't feel good. Case in point, a baby, a baby being born, that baby or that baby, uh, the mother being pregnant and having a baby inside of her, 
going through those those three trimesters, it doesn't feel good because that mother goes through pains, goes through emotional mood swings, goes through all kind of things. But at the end, that's when the pain gets the worst. And that's where many of you are now at where it gets worse. See, because you're at that place where you're about you're in, you're dying. You're dying out to your ways. And what's happening, there's a cutting and there's a peeling away of the old skin. See, what's happening also, there is a circumcision. A circumcision is a cutting away of the old that the new might live. And so there's a spiritual circumcision that's taking place through your pains and through what you're facing. What God's doing, God is cutting away the old skin. And anytime there's a cutting away, there's blood and there's pain. But also in that blood and that pain, also there can be a noise from the pain. And so many people and many of you are facing the noise. Some are frustration. Some are whatever you're going through, whatever that outburst is. It's a result of you being under pressure. It's a result of you being in the fire. And also it's a result of God cutting away. There's things that God is cutting away. People in your life, God sent people in your life, uh, friends in your life uh, that come and are very instrumental and in part of that cutting away. See, because in order to get to that place or to go out to get to that ability or that voice that God has called you to become or call you to be or function in, there has to be a, a cutting and it takes time. The Bible says that there's a time and season of everything and a time for every purpose. And many of you, your time and your purpose is now. It's time out to uh, looking back what you did yesterday. Yesterday is gone. But everything you went through has prepared you for today. Time. And that time is God wants you to take it and allow God to keep cutting. Because in your cut, there is birthing out of you a voice and a victory for such a time as this. God bless you. And heaven smiling. And may all God's best be yours. Have a good day.